would say we all have our weaknesses. Yeah, yeah I think Liv's the cheapest. I, he does. Do. It's a humble lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Hannah Smith. I'm Isaac Smith. I'm Phoebe Smith. The expectations can be quite high as to what kind of lifestyle people are expected to lead. In magazines, especially for, for women, they advertise clothes that are, you know, $1,000 for a sweater or an expensive purse, as though young women should be able to afford it. There's a lot of cell phone marketing, a lot of device marketing, clothing marketing for younger people. They market it so if you don't have this particular medium, like text messaging or uh, even email over your phone, you're not part of the young social crowd and you're missing out. It's a bit of a slippery slope. You start by having a lifestyle and trying to maintain it. It costs you a lot of money, you go into debt. You know, everything from car loans, car payments, insurance, all those things, like Phoebe went through that. So I know if I get in that position where I need a car, then I can go to Phoebe and I'll, I'll avoid some of the mistakes she made. You know, it's nice to have uh, Phoebe make the mistakes for all of us. So. <laughs> <laughs> all mistakes. <laughs> I made a decision to take the course at George Brown because I was really scared about what my finances were looking like. The course was excellent because it extended over uh, things such as consumerism, um, investments, uh, debt, all sorts of things. Right away I started uh, calling my cell phone company to try and get a lower bill and I very successfully did that. They took about $100 off my bill a month. I'm also looking to switch banks. My loan is not being paid off fast enough. So I found a bank with a lower interest rate that can pay bi-weekly. I learned payment schedules to pay it off faster. So I'm hoping that I can live and enjoy life more while paying some of my debt off by reducing some of my consumer expenses and investing more wisely. I don't know if there is necessarily an easy balance, but I do think that it's just a case of um, trying to save as much as you can, but still having some sort of a social life. And it's a balance. I think knowing your weaknesses too, and budgeting for those weaknesses. So I like getting a new pair of boots or shoes every season, which isn't exactly the wisest, but making sacrifices to be able to do that. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think you're right with your shoes though, like setting yeah. goals, mm -hmm. uh, like saying, okay, this is something I want. It's not a need, it's a want. But if I set goals and work towards it, you know, you know, $20 a paycheck or whatever, mm -hmm. and, and uh, like, I don't think that's unhealthy, right? Financial tools that are accessible for everyone are so important because there's such a wide range of issues that people can run into. Just being more aware of contracts, I think, is, is a tremendous a bit of knowledge to know. And I like the fact that it's accessible to a broad spectrum of people. I think that's really important. It's part of being an adult is learning these skills and it's nice to have some guidance for young people, you know, because I suppose we're uh, vulnerable. So yeah, it's nice to have someone on, on your team.